So you and have you just leave. I'm like, is this what this guy does? And wow. He wasn't even selling them. He was just doing it for fun. Yeah. Did they it's catch like the Kia boys yeah. planes? They were just worried about dying the entire time. Yeah. Micah, you are the only person on this plane that is not an infant. You have to <laughs> land the plane. Like, do you think you can? How are you always <laughs> getting a lemon lock? Your Bronco's been gone. You that complain long? about I, I every little thing. That's why. Looking in the mirror, I'm like, damn, this is not like healthy. Thank you so much to OneSkin for sponsoring today's podcast. The holidays are here, and you may be looking for a stocking stuffer. Lucky for us, OneSkin just launched their mini bundles, which includes face and eye topical supplement, body lotion, and cleanser, all which come in a travel bag. I look forward to giving my family a OneSkin mini bundle. Another great part is if you're traveling this winter, OneSkin has your mini skincare essentials covered. It's time to get started with your new face, eye, and body routine at a discounted rate today. New customers can get 15% off with the code WIDEOPEN at oneskin.co. That's 15% off at oneskin.co with code wide open. The new year is approaching. Now is the best time to invest in your skin. Age healthy with one skin. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this week's podcast. The holidays are the season of giving, so take a little time and give back to yourself. Whether it's as small as a day of rest, a lifestyle change, or beginning therapy, I love that BetterHelp is entirely online and suited to my schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire and they will get you matched with a licensed therapist and you can get started working towards your best self. In the season of giving, give yourself what you need with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash wide open today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash wide open. God, you're a hairy motherfucker, Ryan. Bad, dude. Like a grizzly bear, man. You're like a grizzly bear. Dude, that always pisses me off, though, when I see that. Me being fat and hairy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? Does that piss you off, Ben? Yeah. He just has no tolerance towards hair and obesity. It's fucking tough out here, dude. Don't get me canceled now. See not all know. of us have stomach issues that allows, you know, the not be able to eat and <clears throat> right. stuff like that. Dude, I lost tw- I've lost 20 almost 25 pounds. What? Oh my gosh. You can dude. see it in your face. Yeah, you definitely not, can, but 25 pounds that's a ton, bro. Yeah, looking in the mirror, I'm like, "Damn, this is not like healthy." No. I'm on like a terrible diet, so it's not healthy. But, um, what are you eating? So you went from a terrible diet to a terrible diet. <laughs> in a different the way. Other yeah, way. pretty much. I mean, just literally uh, steak and fruit. That's not that terrible of a diet. It's not that bad. Well, no carbohydrates or like anything. Right. Mm. You're just like, I just miss all the good food. Yes, I do. <laughs> steak I do. is good, but, but yeah. no, 20, 20, almost 25 pounds. Do you just wow. drink water then? Yeah, just water. So no beer? Nope. No beer. What How do you, you live? How do you drink? Yeah, I know, it's difficult. <laughs> just water? Yeah. I've been having this really weird like eye twitch thing, and I was looking it up, and it's from caffeine, alcohol, lack of sleep, stress, and an irregular schedule. Mm, yeah, oh. you, you kind of got all those. <laughs> yeah, I checked all, all the boxes, hit. dude. It, that was your problem. You looked it up. It is incredibly annoying. Is it? Oh, it's like all the time. Like That happens to yeah. me like once every... like. Two months. I thought if you ate bananas, it would help you, but it, it apparently doesn't. Cause you gotta eat a lot of bananas, bananas aren't ha- for that. Aren't helping. I got Lyme's disease, so I mean, f- jeez, dude, that's not not as bad as. I guess Ben and I got it probably the worst right now. <laughs> I'm over here complaining. You guys about are, my yeah, you're like yeah. the most healthy people I know and the most and, sick people. And I then know. we're like, I this know. Is insane. That's what that's what my dad said when we were at Thanksgiving. You two are supposedly the most healthy, and you guys, and one of you's got SIBO, and the other's got Lyme's disease. Yeah, what the? I was fuck like, I don't fucking know, on, dude. What's Lyme's disease? How do you? How do you? From get it? supposedly a, uh, a uh, infected tick or something. Deer tick. But yeah, so it's not good. Felt like shit for a long time, and finally figured it out because we. Uh, I went to this God doctor. Guess. I was trying to figure out what the heck was wrong with me, and uh, and they did like blood work, and then it came back that I had Lyme's disease. What was interesting about it was like there was a marker that I have it right now. But then there was another marker, I don't know what they call it, that I had it in the past too. So I must have had it, which makes sense because like, you know, like we grew up just playing in the woods Outside. and stuff. That's got to be kind of a relief to find out though, that there is an actual uh, reason for why you've been feeling like shit. Yeah, it was nice yeah. to actually have a answer because I've felt like no shit kidding. for a long time. But I just, I mean, I still feel like shit, but you just keep pushing through. What's but, the yeah, remedy what to there? it? Like, what do you do? I don't know. I've been on antibiotics for 18 days. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, That's on, a crazy amount of time yeah, for antibiotics. It's like a 20-day regimen. Damn. And okay, then, so you're getting close to the end. Then do uh, like more blood work and then uh, see if I still have it. If I still have it, then I got to do some other kind of thing. Wow. But, yeah, it's not, not ideal. 
Definitely no, not. It's crazy how common getting Lyme's disease is. Maybe it's just up here because of like I guess how common deer living ticks in the are. sticks. Yeah. Yeah. Living in the sticks, but uh, no remedies or really. Well, there is, but just stay inside and play Xbox all the time. There, there is, but it's not like a this fixes it from my understanding. But I don't think I have it as bad as other people. Like some people really are fucked up. Like see, that's the thing. At least He's you not- guys have like real health problems it's just like mine's all self-inflicted which is really uncomforting because i have to do something to change it like i know something's wrong with me beyond all that but i'm like damn i have to take it upon myself to fix it no that would be way better you got it way better Mm. versus things that are like kind of out of your control like i got it yeah it'd be pretty easy i gotta do shit didn't do anything wrong i just Mm -hmm. got a fucking appendix surgery and that's where all my problems are coming from yours are just like you said self-inflicted yeah from living too good man yeah, yeah just having too damn good of a time. Yeah, is it? <laughs> yeah, I, I would say so. I would say you're having a great time. You, how was California? You said you drank. Oh yeah, drank like a fish. And I you have just got on like, vacation. Yeah, so <laughs> like a great time. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I haven't having a good time. Yeah, no, no. California was sick. Honestly, I know this is a hot take. Other than the like political climate and all the other bad people california is sick dude california is really nice it's, it's a shame what it's they've amazing. done to it exactly yeah. exactly that's how i felt i was sitting there on the beach in san diego and i went damn this might be one of the best places in the world i can't believe they fucked it up so bad it's right. so great that's what i've always right. said about when i'm there i'm like i see why everyone came everyone here. wants like, to live there it's yeah. pretty obvious it's like the, everything amazing in one spot in one corner of the it's so interesting the people there are so different I'd noticed one, they're all younger. Typically around here, everybody's a little bit older than us, but everybody's so healthy. Like people are out running their dogs at like 7 a.m. And it's just, it's just different, man. They just live different. You're not all there. covered up. So you want to look good. And it's nice outside. So you're like, oh, it's only 65 degrees this morning. I guess I can go for a run. Let's right. put on a layer. Where were you? Was, uh, we were in Temecula first. And then second, we went down to San Diego. But it was funny being in Temecula because we took this hot air balloon ride and we flew over, I'm pretty sure Axel Hodge's house, but for sure, Robbie Madison's. Oh, yeah, it, so just dirt bike jumps everywhere? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was well, like, like so down, down, you just see a bunch of dirt bike yeah. jumps? Yeah. yeah. It it's has crazy. to have been. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of like the uh, mecca for... That's like what our dirt bike riders, they, uh, a lot of them live in that area. That's what like the tour guy said. He said it's like the dirt bike capital. He kept calling it motorcycling. It's the motorcycling capital <laughs> of the world. And I was like, I, I think we're a little more specific than that. And then he called Axel the metal militia kid. And I was oh. like, he's not. And I was like, because nope. is that the Deegans? And he was like, no, 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 he's young. And I was like, okay. Metal militia kid. Damn, yeah. they can't even get it right. Yeah, now. and he goes, and he does tours over that house every day. He's exactly. Malinf- <laughs> misinformation. Misinformation out there. But yeah, it was pretty cool. California's a wild place, man. So was the hot air balloon fun, scary, both? The only thing about the hot air balloon that actually blew me away was we took off within 10 feet of each other and we landed exactly where he told us wow. we were going to land. Like, 10 miles away, right next to each other. How do they do they that? They don't Crazy. fucking control the thing. I don't know. He would like lower down and the wind would pull us this way and then he'd go up and the wind would pull us another way. Like it was actually a skill. I'm I impressed. Love, the only amazing. thing that blew me away in the hot air balloon was definitely the wind. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, that, that we, we, we were talking about that. Like how do they know where they're going to land? Even like the field. Oh, that's the field. 10 miles away. Like, no, I don't know. No, it's it, was, just, it was pretty wild. They tried to explain it, but they didn't really have an answer. I think it's witchcraft. What would happen if your hot air balloon started on fire? Very bad. I wasn't like, is there a backup? Down, <laughs> but is, is there, is there, there a backup? No, no, we were not. We were There's not a bunch of parachutes. That is the wildest shit then. At a certain height, I got high enough that I was aware of like my imminent danger to falling and right. like dying. Even yeah. though if you're over like a hundred feet, you'd probably die anyway but yeah i was like what if what's feet, a, what dude, if something happens probably less than that i know How like big a is good the basket seven people it was oh, pretty wow. big so seven people is rather small though it's still tight yeah i mean you're you're kind of jammed in there hmm. it was real wicker how long has hot air balloons been around can you look that up for us and then also how many deaths a year is there from hot air balloons go for the deaths because the first hot air balloon ride i learned this was in like france or something like that and they sent a bunch of cattle up <laughs> in it because well, nobody wanted to do it yeah. like yeah. the uh Makes sense the france <gasps> king and queen like paid for it and it was silk yeah. and super expensive and they sent it up it trained the away. cattle how to land yeah, yeah land no it landed in a farmer's field and then the farmer who had never like they'd never nothing had ever flown 
before at that time. Oh, so, so like this, this is big before giant the Wright thing. brothers. Like this yeah, is before Air. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Delivered a bunch of cattle to him. He's yeah. like, this is a ama- god. Yeah, nobody yeah. actually got like super pissed and like attacked it, and then I think killed the animals. Oh, that sounds wow. right. What a yeah, psycho, dude. But then probably thought it was aliens. Yeah. yeah, but then like they rode up on horses and they were like, "Did the cattle live?" And he was like, "Yeah, what the fuck was that?" And mm. then so the other guys did it, and then apparently they celebrate with champagne. So. Huh. So all I remember before. So the what year was that roughly? Uh, September nineteenth, seventeen eighty three. It's a long time ago. Yep. When, when How's the planes? landing? Is the landing like? Is it a little bit rough? I mean, it wasn't bad. Or we it did. When I tell the story, people always go, "Oh, like we came in and we clipped a couple trees." Really? And then you basically just skid into the ground. But it, it's fairly controlled. Like I wasn't freaked out, but everybody else in the balloon that was nervous, what didn't really do things, was right. pretty nervous. And I was like, this this isn't bad. We're going to crash like five miles an hour, worst case, Ontario. In the last 10 years, 24 people have died from hot air balloons. Not bad. That's not bad. That's oh, good. Not pretty low. That's wow. nothing. That's, I'd say. Yeah. I'll take that. Do you think we could uh, get Evan in one of those maybe? No. That would be absolutely not. so entertaining. Put him in there blindfolded. Make him take the blindfold off. And- he definitely okay, yeah, we're doing that. That's actually say, a great idea. What's, sure. what's a hot air balloon cost? Could we get our own hot air balloon? Do you need a special there license to fly a hot air balloon? I actually did think, I think I could maybe fly a plane like, Given the circumstances, pilot has a hair, uh, heart attack. I think I could maybe get us to the ground alive. No, but yeah, there's, there's no fucking chance, dude. I'm, I'm not pretty saying sure pass- I'm not a passenger airplane like a full on Boeing seven. No, no, I'm thinking something. It could still be like a, a jet. six person, like a yeah, like a plane, like a plane, preferably propeller. I'm not saying we're gonna land and it's gonna be pretty. You can and technically we, just kind of, yeah, send it down and then it just skids. Skids. Oh, yeah, yeah who, we're going to crash and the plane's going to be messed up. Was, was it one of you guys that was telling me the story of like some kid, like young, like let's say he's 18, he was like stealing planes and he was on the run for a long time. Maybe it was Gavin. Anyway, it just blew me away. He, he stole planes. He stole planes. He'd go to like, you know, it's a smaller of, like airport and yeah. then like steal a plane. What and a then heist. He would fly it and I go, well, so he didn't know how to fly planes. No, he didn't. But. You know, somewhat straightforward. I'm like, what about landing though? Well, he he yeah. didn't know how to land. No, he would basically just just get it good enough, take off the landing gear, probably wipe out a wing here and there, and then just leave it, go on the run, steal another plane. Why? Wow. He wasn't even selling them. He was just doing it for fun. Yeah. Did they it's catch like the him? Kia boys yeah. of planes? They yeah. did catch him. That's what I explained it as. It was the key. Yeah, they caught what him. Year, what year was that? I have no idea. Interesting. But, wow. What a thrill. Just, it, yeah. God, <laughs> that, that, it, I can't the, imagine. The biggest thing was the whole like landing thing. Like it was like, nah, he couldn't. He can't land. Dude, all I think perfect. I think the no, landing. Didn't. I don't think it's that hard to fly because I saw a Mr. Beast video. One of his like partners in the videos. He learned how to fly a plane on a simulator. All he had to do was land it on the simulator one time, and then he he got to fly the plane with the guy, and he flew it. Granted, he's got a, pa- a pilot next to him, but he landed it. It looked like in the video the guy wasn't touching. No, anything. no, no. That was in- no, bro. They cut. They cut away. I wa- I watched this video yesterday too. As soon as they come down and they land, they go to the wing shot of it, and they don't show him actually landing the, and then as soon as they land the pilot's like congratulations you landed the plane and they're like in the background oh my gosh that was crazy and like so I, mr beast you, fakes his videos i think Ooh. that was we a have fake. News. i think that <laughs> was the first because i'm sure the pilot was like i i don't know if you can i don't know if you can yeah. actually just do this yeah it, i'm not right, saying it looked I like he did from the times that i've flown with my friend uh sam who has like the smaller uh planes like that like pe- passenger planes doesn't look easy it's not rocket science. Yeah. Honestly, fairly simple. The craziest part is when he's calling into the, the and air like flight controls. Initiating that and, and he's saying, uh, like, Alpha Bravo 293 <laughs> coming in at <laughs> not Get uh, to the chopper. 47 with the winds of yada yada. No idea what he's saying there, but, like, you know, he takes off the power and just, like, slowly lands it down. But Some flaps. But that's a smaller plane. I'm not saying I could go, you know, hop in a Delta plane and do it. I because I saw a stat that fifty percent of men think that they could land a like a Delta passenger airplane. Where are they? Why would this you from? ever yeah. say yes to that? Yeah, like, I think what I could Ryan do just it. said well, is it well, is that's an interesting like the, that's, stat. Like you're on the plane with a bunch of babies, like baby children, and they go, you have, Ryan, you yeah, are yeah. Micah, you are the only person on this plane that is not an infant. You <laughs> have to land the plane. Like, do you think you can? I mean, how much stuff is automated in those planes now? Like, how, are they actually just fucking hits the buttons and stuff? <laughs> but here's Ken the thing: Ken autopilot. Ken's the smartest one. Everyone no. else crashes. Ken's on his own plane that he has to pilot. He just hits a button. Fucking here's the thing: does it I think the back, drinks a 
you know there is a lot of autopilot stuff going on, but how to initiate that? You guys Seems have like all heard, like the Delta planes, can figure it out. they basically fly themselves besides landing, and they can probably even land themselves, but they just have to have a pilot there. Because I, I saw this thing on Instagram a few weeks ago. It's like, a, for a smaller plane, but like, it's if the pilot passes out, dies, whatever, a passenger can like push a button, and the computer oh. just does everything. <laughs> like, it radios air traffic control, it like, finds an airport to land at and just lands it hits the brakes and you just have to get out interesting actually yeah i mean i mean that seems like a good thing to have in place it does seem it makes sense but i mean they got the technology for it nowadays it's probably super expensive plane and also to all the pilots out there i respect what you do and i don't think that i could do it well at your caliber safely every time it's like saying you know like could i drive a nascar yeah i can drive a nascar yeah. i'm not gonna do it fucking at the quality that you can <laughs> so before you get upset i know it's way way harder and also i would probably crash and in good weather conditions okay dude I'd <laughs> this say is my cover yeah. up yeah <laughs> i feel like i've been saying this for a while but i'm getting my pilot license proud in 2024. of 2024 i'm proud of you and i'm getting my hot air balloon license <laughs> there we go dude and i'm gonna ride in the back <laughs> No, I think that'd be so sweet, though. Do you think Evan will get in a plane with you? The holidays are here, which is perfect timing for today's sponsor, One Skin. We all know that all the holiday fun and festivities comes with stress and harsh weather that really can take a toll on your skin. But thanks to One Skin's disruptive approach that targets aging at the source, you can finish off 2023 with your skin at its healthiest. One Skin has a completely different approach to skin care that most companies don't do. One Skin focuses on the root cause of aging instead of the symptoms. Most skincare companies just treat the surface while One Skin goes deeper and targets aging cells. I love that by using One Skin, I'm getting healthier, better feeling skin, especially with the harsh cold temps that are happening right now one skin is the world's first skin longevity company one skin addresses skin health at the molecular level targeting the root causes of aging so skin feels and appears younger it's time to get started with your new face eye and body routine at a discounted rate today new customers get 15 percent off with the code wide open at oneskin.co that's 15 percent off at oneskin.co with code wide open the new year is approaching now is the best time to invest in your skin age healthy with one skin Thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's podcast. The holidays can be dubbed the season of giving and you focus so hard on giving the right gifts to every friend and family member. You spend hours on the road traveling or spending time at multiple family Christmases or mom and dads or wherever you got to go. It can be tough. So focus on yourself and give back to you this season with BetterHelp. Whether it's by starting therapy, going easier on yourself during these tough moments or treating yourself to a day of complete rest, remember to give yourself some love this holiday season. If you are ready to make the step towards therapy, BetterHelp is a fantastic option. I love that BetterHelp is online. If you're rural or don't have the time to make it to therapy, BetterHelp is a great option because it's easy to get started. Just fill out a brief questionnaire and they will get you matched with a licensed therapist and you can get started working towards your best self all online. Most importantly, working with your schedule. In the season of giving, give yourself what you need with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash wide open today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash wide open. Thank you, BetterHelp, for sponsoring this week's podcast. I don't think he's going to have a choice. I think he's going to have to. Yeah. yeah. If we're going somewhere, yeah. he's yeah, going to have going to. Man, What's he going to no do? Choice. You want to be like just the last one living? Huh? How would you feel then? Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's such a, a good classic, point. I can't remember who said that to but I love that. What would be, what <laughs> what's be, worse? Yeah, what's worse? You know, dying or going down with all, without oh, yeah. all your homies and being the only one left. I actually did go back to the place where we hired Evan on this trip. Oh, it was kind of wild. Like, I looked at that chair like it was iconic. <laughs> did it have, on like, a brown bar. streak yeah, on it? it <laughs> did they have to, like, you knew put exactly caution it tape around it? Yeah, they hadn't touched it yet. It's yeah, no, the whole thing whole was, like, quarantined shut down, off. Yeah. It was, like, a... <laughs> In two years. Yeah, it was, like, an unsafe sanitary zone. Mike, what were you doing this morning? I got a notification yeah. on the security cameras, and it was oh. like four thirty, and you just came rolling in. <laughs> yeah, and I we're like, in you were heavy, bro. You were just like normal, dressed like you were about to start the day, and I was like, "There's no way this dude is here this early on a Sunday to go no to way. work." No chance. And then you wow. were there till five thirty, and then you left. Uh huh. You drove all the way from Fargo at four thirty in the morning. Uh huh. Why? Uh, basically because I had merch to bring Ken, and then I was like doing shit at the house, hanging out, and then I was like, "Yeah, I'll just go." Uh, bring the merch uh, after Sydney goes to bed. And then I fell asleep, and then I woke up at like 
Wow. Or because otherwise, Ken you wouldn't Ken have, to have it. I there had in a the bunch of merch. Mm-hmm. I wanted Ken to have it there in the morning, and so I was like, if I bring it when we do the podcast, Be I too wouldn't late. bring it. Yeah, that was so smart. Anyway, I just did, I w- went. Ken said he needed the truck to go to Brush Mark, so I freaking ripped the Subaru out of the cold storage. That's what it was. Okay. Yeah. yeah it was, wow. And you did all this at four thirty in the morning. Yeah. I think Gavin stayed here. You guys went out last night, and I'm sure he was like, "Who's here?" Yeah, like, what's like, going ripping on? Ripping the garage door yeah. open, like, probably thinking someone's maybe breaking in. But yeah, wow. it was it was pretty funny. What do so, you man. think of being like a part of? I mean, that's pretty extreme, but like, that's early morning crew. What do you think of? I that's know, late, to be late honest, night crew yeah, for it him, just felt man. like middle of the night. Yeah, you have no constraints when it comes to time, Mike. It's just like you just do it when you yeah. Yeah. When, time whenever time. you want. Slept from like six to twelve thirty. Got up, painted. What? Yeah. Painted? Yeah. Painted, Painted the entryway. <laughs> at 1 a.m.? No. No. Oh, at, oh, I was, I oh. Slept, he goes to bed at 6 p.m.? <laughs> slept from 6 a.m. So. Oh. <laughs> slept from 6 a.m. to 12.30 noon. Oh, okay. 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 I thought you meant you went to bed at like 6, <laughs> 6 woke up at 12.30 and just started painting your entryway. And then once you got that done, you were like, all right, better head out to the lake. No, <laughs> lately it's just been like dude. the sleep schedules have just been so off that it's almost like it doesn't matter. Yeah. You're getting matter. close to a normal one. You're just giving yeah. a few more days. Yeah, it was it was very peaceful. So I was like, someone's got to be like looking at the cameras, like wondering. Well, yeah, I got a notification I because I knew Gavin was there and I was just checking to see how he was doing because <laughs> he's pretty <laughs> torn up last night. Oh, bad. He then, slept in Evan's room. Oh, he did. No, he was oh. on the couch this morning. Oh, okay. Oh, well, he, he maybe was, woke up. He was in Evan's room when I got Couldn't there. Couldn't breathe. So. Yeah. Um, wow. Yeah. So that's why I was checking. I was like, what the fuck is Mike doing? <laughs> like, you just came walking in like so chill. Just hung out. You're kind of just like, and you just buy something. You and then you just leave. I'm like, is this what this guy does? <laughs> and then I look at your location. And you're in Fargo. I'm like, what? How funny would that be? I like, was confused this morning every, when I looked. Every Fargo. weekend when I go to Fargo, I still spend my night. You come here. back. You come back. Yeah. Then you go in the morning for when she wakes up. There is nothing worse than waking up. Like you probably did the right thing when you woke up at 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. And you were like, I can't sleep. That it was I just got to get up and get my shit done. That's nice job, Mike. for the business. Nice yeah. job, Mike. Uh, I'll wake up. And then I like think I can go back to bed, and you just have this shitty night's sleep. Yeah, and then you wake up late. So anyway. why did you drive this? Why didn't you drive your Bronco? Uh because it's freshly detailed, ready to go down the road. So I didn't want to get it dirty. Yeah, sell it to a real nice guy. Picked it up yesterday. Randy did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, so he did get it. So Randy <laughs> bought your Bronco. Yeah. Right. Randy Ryan's told dad. me he also bought another Bronco because he wasn't going to buy your Bronco. <laughs> Seems like a very Randy thing to do. <laughs> I know. That's what I felt this no, morning and, and when I, I heard. I think it was he was honestly on um, like he was skeptical whether or not like I was it was going to happen, and I oh. just kept telling him, "I'm like, yep, like whenever my Bronco comes in, whether it's here or not, you're free to take it." And then he's like, "Well, I don't want to take it until I pay you." I'm like, "I literally do not care. You may take it whenever you want because I know you're good for it." So I cleaned like the outside, inside, yeah, took the great. light bar off, put new tires on it for him, all kinds of Jeez. stuff. And then he took it yesterday. He says, love it. Yeah. And then I mean, he did come into the shop yesterday with another guy and was kind of like showing him around yeah, it. Yeah. So other he guy may have just flipped, flipped it. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No that would way. Actually, that would actually be really sad because I gave him the homie hookup on it. No oh, yeah. way. He pocketed like 5K, didn't even drive <laughs> yeah. it out of, out of the garage yet. No, That's as far a as serious I know, flip. He's having one of his buddies drive it to Florida, which sounds oh, like upside okay. to me. That so, makes sense. So was your new one here then? No. No, it's on a last I heard like two weeks ago is on a train to from Detroit to Wow. To that should be soon then. Any day. How here. the frick Deal long with, does it take for a train to go that far? It's on it's I'm like two states. It's not the train, it's the, the getting a truck from Fargo to here. Right. Dude, but we I mean, gotta get the hook up at the train station so we can just pick it up yeah. from there. I, mm, I, which I would much train. rather do. <laughs> Yeah, right now. Why don't we just... fast and furious that bitch? We'll go find the train while it's moving. You climb on, drive <sighs> it off. Don't even pay for the thing. Somehow, yeah, physics do not apply in this situation. It's a Raptor Bronco, bro, furious. so you can freaking jump right off that thing. Well, that's what I mean, but as long as we have fast and furious in our title, like... Then you, you don't even just, need a Bronco. Yeah, you don't need you could, any. You could be a freaking Lamborghini. Jump from building to building. Just jump, yeah. Are you going to actually drive your Raptor Bronco? Kansas has been MIA for the last, like, year. Yes, I would yes. love to drive my Raptor Bronco, but it currently <laughs> does not have a roof, and Ford is not shipping it. So I don't know if I'm just not going to have a Bronco for six, 12 months. Ken, this is what how happens. How long to Lemon Law? This is what happens. I, I think it technically applies. 
Really? Nice, Ken. How are you always okay. getting a lemon lock? Your Bronco's been gone you that long. You complain about I, I every dropped, little thing. That's why. I dropped it yeah. off before we went to, to Glamis. Oh, wow. Oh, and they, they haven't shipped a new roof for it yet because they the initial like replacement roof was also defective. Oh. I just love. At I least they didn't give you that. I He's love, had two yeah. defective roofs. I love the what idea. What makes a defective roof? It rattles and it drives me. In, it was driving me insane trying to drive that thing down the road because it's like a high pitched like squeak. Mm. I think that's just part of those. Body. That's like what a Rubicon, like a Jeep Wrangler, or no, it was shitty. Like. It was just shitty. freaking. Make it was noise. rubbing to the point where it was rubbing paint off the body. Oh, so it was really? like rubbing in a spot where it's not supposed to. Interesting. But I just I love the idea of like if you were to actually do it, lemoning an entire you know a ninety thousand dollar car. Out because of the removable roof is faulty. Yeah, that's I mean, dude, no. Ken's done it before with his. He's lemon that, one that, before. That, was that one was issue, that one was yeah. much more legit. I'm not yeah, saying that if was, you were that to was. do it, it'd be unlegit. It's just a funny. If you thought. try like, lemoning in this, they might look at your record and be like, "This guy's done this before." Like, there's no <laughs> chance that this guy has had two of them in the last four years. If I had this replaced in like June, I'd be fine. You know, not driving around with the top on. But it's like December now. I'm not driving around with 20 degree weather with no roof. Not an option. Has it affected your dating life now that you like can't talk about both your vehicles? Like the girls are like, oh, you told me you had two Where's cars. Yeah. Yeah. Where's the blue interior? Like blue interior? Oh, it's broken. And then you pull up and your Tesla, it's all banged up. They're like, man, this guy was capping. Yeah, Ken, you're having a tough time with the vehicles. Somebody hit my Tesla, drove off. So that's a nice little... Eight grand repair. Jeez, later, so. man. So does insurance not cover that? Or Holy I'm, I'm, shit. I'm running it through insurance. I'm not but. joking. My Subaru is so messed up compared to Ken's Tesla, and I think I might be under eight grand to fix that thing. That's insane. So. Obviously, oh, is it eight grand? Yeah, obviously Ken's is Tail, a... Tailgate, bumper, it's most of the tailgate It's thing. a Tesla, oh, okay. bro. That's how it's fucking <laughs> yeah. expensive. Yeah. Plus, it's parts plus, like, the labor to paint yeah, it and the match it. Mm-hmm. And I thought they did, had robots do everything. Robots not going to fix it, though. Have you guys seen all the, uh, well, I guess not all the cyber trucks coming out, but like, you know, the yeah. limited amount of cyber trucks that are coming out for like media now? They look cool, mm-hmm. but also they, the when you see an actual like just iPhone roller of it, it looked very fucking weird. It Dude, looked it looks whack. really whack. It looked yeah. really weird. Like also, it didn't look as sharp as I was expecting it to. And I'm big on it. Like yeah. I'm like, it's a funky look, but it'll be cool. But that roller video of the one in Minnesota from the back, I was like, what? What are we looking at? It literally at looked like a like a fake car, like a kit car someone built. Which mm-hmm. is kind of cool. Yeah, I, I mean, agree. for us, we really like fake cars, but True. Uh, I saw a video of it. It out towed a F-350. It was pretty sick. Like, it freaking towed this thing. They the had sled. Some, yeah, the sled that was weighted all the way past the finish line. So sick, dude. I mean... I, I like it. I would still get one, yeah. hands down, just because it's, it's so unique and different and... Um, insanely fast can you but. haven't gotten any emails on yours or anything right no and i i texted a guy at tesla that i got his contact information from and he said they don't even know what what's going on with them. okay i also ordered one or put the hundred dollars down on one a bunch of years ago man that would have been in like 2019 yeah it was pre pre-covid Mm-hmm. And so we were still, I remember out. being in the office at the old shop mm-hmm. in like the middle yeah, you're of the right. winter and you're like well screw it a hundred bucks i saw that if uh Whoever gets the allocation and they get it from Tesla, if they want to sell it, Tesla's going to sue them for 50 grand. Whoa. Wow. Well, that's what the markup's going to be because I'm locked in tri motor for like 70 grand. They're not doing it. They're 100 now. Yeah, they're 100 now. What? They upped that? Yeah. That's I still a pretty in. cheap deal, Pri- dude. Price is subject to change. Oh, that's They're 100 lame. now. That's that's so, honestly not that bad. But no, it's not. Nice. It's like, not. Fully I mean, it's expensive fast. as hell, but it's for what that That's what like, is. your Hummer costs. Your yeah, Hummer exactly. costs more than that. If you buy it for a hundred and then you you get sued for fifty grand for reselling it though, you could still probably sell it in the first couple months. I would say easily two hundred. Yeah, I bet. The I don't first know why anyone would do that though. I just don't understand why you would. Uh, you just obviously have a lot of money. Well, mm-hmm. for us, it would be worth it. it. Yeah, for us, it would. If you were gonna make a viral video with it, like I could see how that would be worth it. But if you're yeah. not gonna make a viral video with it, it's incredibly stupid yeah. to pay double. It's kind of like even like the Corvette, like Z06s and like any any of those, like the Hummer EV was the same way. It's like a hundred grand markup. And if you're not one of like the absolute first to have it, I feel like it loses a lot of that, but maybe it's because he's in 0.5. Is that 0.5? Yeah, yeah, I'd say it's 0.5. It's it maybe looks something so, about... It's the back. It yeah, it's looks, something with the back. I think for me, it, it looks way more tucked. 
I know it's is it air suspension? Yeah, it's yeah, air okay. Suspension. Damn, so have dude, that thing. it still <laughs> looks sick. badass, it's so dude. Cool. Honestly, it's, it's still so, cool. so sick. It's yeah, so it's funny cool. looking. That's what it is. Honestly, it's very funny looking. Yeah, whoever Elon's. gets whoever gets there first, whether it's Ryan or Ken's, we're, we're shooting that thing. So, <laughs> so just, just have that, to, just have that to look though. forward to. Well, right, yeah. Ken can have the first one. Hey, if it were my cyber truck, I'd be like, yeah, just have the freaking cash ready, and you can do whatever you want to it. My roof has been squeaking on my unit too ever since I jumped it, and it pulls to the left. Oh, really? Yeah, she's she's not quite the same as she was, but that's okay. It's oh, nice really? that you don't you have a warranty a anymore. Oh yeah, because I put the wheels on it. Voids <laughs> the whole warranty. Oh yeah, but you could right. just put your stock wheels back yeah. on, surely. Yeah, yeah. it's because nobody's seen it with the aftermarket wheels, so that'll help. That I don't know. The, I think uh, that that the uh, Cybertruck looked cool. I think it looked really funny. Like it was funny looking. Mm -hmm. It it looked like what's wrong with that thing, but in such a way that it was cool. Elon, I feel like, has really good marketing for it, you know? Like, I feel like car companies that do wacky type of marketing for their shit is way cooler than just, like, standard. Type Dude, of I don't even think he needs to market that. Like, That's they're going to have yeah, so much thing, demand. That like, thing's they marketing the, itself. Yeah, they can't keep yeah. the supply. No, mm -hmm. but I mean, that's that's my favorite part. He just, I think this clip's fairly new. It's just a clip of him just unloading with a giant gun right on the side of it. And that's it. It was just, it wasn't even like an ad or anything. It was just a clip of I him know, I shooting I think he's just Tesla showing truck. how cool it is. That's, that's all what, he's doing that's because he's saying. just proud. And that clip alone created so much more hype than any uh, high budget commercial ever could. Everything that guy does just goes viral. I saw this clip the other day of he was getting interviewed about um, Disney uh, stopped tweeting and using Twitter and then they stopped advertising on Twitter because of Elon's like anti-Semitic views, which I, I don't know that much about that, but alleged. Ob 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 yeah, yeah, I was going to say they feel their <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But Disney's obviously extremely woke, doesn't align with, with Elon's vision of anything. And so uh, they said like, don't you think that you need to kind of like tone back your like your views so you can you know keep, Disney, keep people, like companies like yeah Disney. keep people like Disney advertising on your platform and he said I don't want them to advertise on it I want them to go fuck themselves <laughs> and he in front of like the whole crowd he looked at the camera and he said hi Bob the CEO of Disney he goes go fuck yourself oh yeah, my yeah. God. And then he doubles crazy. down and he goes go fuck yourself <laughs> and like the whole audience was just like kind of silent and then you could hear a couple of people laughing and then he was like blackmail me with money like the richest guy in the world like yeah. you think he gives a shit about them advertising with them but like Man, i just thought it was funny so like their loss honestly yeah. oh yeah and then and then um i guess a bunch of people started canceling their disney plus subscriptions wow. that were probably fed up with that but i mean you it makes wonder, sense yeah. like you know people that are sick of i guess the woke agenda of mm -hmm. of you know these platforms and everything that they're pushing and then like it just takes one guy like that that anything he says goes viral hey man times are changing it's coming back around i think just saying like what a lot of people think Dude, I love a lot that. of people resonate with that yeah oh clearly oh yeah so i'm yeah people are fed up and and it needs to get back to at least a balanced state because mm -hmm. it's way way off right now and uh dana white dana, yeah, dana, yeah, dana white on too. uh theo's podcast and he's like Theo, uh, Peloton didn't advertise with Theo because of something. And he's yeah. like, but do we have Pelotons on our gym? Fuck Peloton. Yeah. He threw them outside and like got rid of them. Yeah, yeah dude. Awesome. Greta, actually, she just bought a Peloton for my house. But mm. uh, did you she throw it, it out outside the window? Too? She was like, uh, if, if I reach out to Peloton, do you think like I could get you to like post a, like a story with it or like do anything with it for with me and, and like get a discount with them? And I was like, nah. Fuck Peloton. I was like, you literally said you wouldn't. Yeah. Hey, right. I, when I saw that clip. Um, of how they they basically Peloton canceled or wanted Theo Vaughn to take down his podcast um, because they didn't agree with the political agenda of the of the uh, person that Theo Vaughn had on his podcast and he had an ad in that for Peloton. Like we've obviously worked with quite a few companies and not very often, but every so often before they go live, they have to review the entire video. Mm. So we have to send them the the final video with the ad in it and everything. And we've had a couple companies come back and say like, you need to change this, 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 take this part out uh, or else we're not going to basically pay you guys. And it ruins 
the video well, every last time, time it happened, last and it time ruins happened, our said night. we wouldn't do it. We yeah. just said no. We, said, we just told them to that. keep their money, and it was a lot of money. Yeah, and yeah, we just told yeah. them keep your money, and we just post the video without it. It is such a pain in the ass, and thankfully, you know, most of the companies that we work with were in alignment that you know they're never going to try and change our content. But every so often, you know, somebody in a marketing department thinks that they have power over mm-hmm. it. So then hearing Theo tell his, his story of, you know, them wanting to take his podcast down, that resonated of how much that shit sucks. And I was like, fuck Peloton. And I told Greta this story. <laughs> and then like three days later, she was like, so I, I know you're still on this kind of like fuck Peloton train, <laughs> but uh, how, how would you feel about posting? And I was like, no. They were just making fun of Pelotons. In, I've been watching Shorzy, which is like letter kenny and he's just like what the fuck do we need to ride bikes for literally so dumb so <laughs> dumb <laughs> what do we got up on the screen here well i've been searching a ton for our subaru rebuild we're rebuilding our rally subaru yep. so i've been looking at you know our suspension bumpers all that stuff i don't know how much we want to give away but i came across this video that happened in 2017 when they released the new sti and i have no idea how i never saw this because for subaru marketing like, this is the most intense video I've ever seen for a car company. So they took this Subaru to, I think it's like the oldest bobsled run in the world or something like that. Studded tires. Dude, those oh, wow. Tires, oh, they're very narrow. Yeah, we need tires like that for the ice. Yeah. But look how Western he gets on this thing, dude. Like, it actually looks intense. Holy shit. It's so That's narrow. narrow. Oh, he's hitting snowbanks and everything. Oh, whoa, whoa, fuck. dude, he's, dude, those walls he's riding on is just so not. That thing's got to be the, so the dented up. Huge, <laughs> yeah, compared to the size of a oh, oh bro, this is like a death wish. Look at this one, dude. <gasps> this is the last corner, which is the biggest oh. one. No! Oh! <laughs> it's dented bad. Dude, yeah, he, dude. He went for it, though. He freaking, like, hit his windshield on the side of the wall. Dang, but, that was sick, dude. We should do that. I was like, how have I never seen this piece of super marketing? This is fucking great. That was sick. Yeah, Probably because cool. you weren't watching TV at the time. Dang, oh. dude. I've never thought of bobsledding. We should go bobsledding. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. That'd be sick. And then do something like shifter carts or dirt bikes on the bobsled track. Oh, that would be cool, too. Dirt bikes make the most sense. Obviously, you can kind of play that curve, but... But, dude, after seeing that, those walls look hard. Yeah, oh, yeah bro. Well, no, that and that, been dented that one was actually, like the least ice looking bobsled track. Most of them snow. just look like yeah. they're built out of like glare nice. ice. That's pretty cool. Have you guys ever seen the movie Cool Runnings? With the Jamaica team? Yeah, yeah that but was so good. If you haven't, you definitely got to watch it. Yeah, basically there's a bobsled team out of Jamaica. I think it's based on a true story. Yeah, it and is. They enter the Olympics and yeah. maybe win, but it's pretty cool. I can't remember. No ice. How did Jamaicans that? get into bobsled? They like, like I can that. see that yeah, they're really good at like trained. rowing and shit like that, but I mean bobsledding? They must right. just have like little little roller blades underneath their bobsleds in Jamaica. I think that's actually like how they yeah, that's, that's how, how they, they train, practice, yeah. yeah. And, and then they a won? few times that they won the Olympics or yeah, what? Yeah, they either mm-hmm. won or like got silver or something. Dude, I can't talk about it. just getting kicked in the nuts. A bunch of Jamaicans come oh, in there. Yeah, I know. They don't even have ice there. That's how, yeah. that's, never that's seen ice before. It's like, it's like, and they beat you. Yeah, get your own. Yeah, the Jamaican hockey team won gold. That would make everyone look <laughs> so bad. Great. That is just <laughs> that didn't happen. But yeah, if you haven't seen it, you should watch that. It's a good movie. You know what else is a very interesting sport that I've never fully understood. Water polo, yes. just polo on horses. Yes, that too. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Those well, I do not understand those. That's one of those sports you only get into when you're uber uber rich. Yeah, yeah. you know polo. Yeah, because you have to have like an arsenal, just like you have to have like special clubs. You have to also have a special arsenal. And you of have horses. to have a horse. Yeah, or like multiple. Oh yeah, we're playing on a bigger field, so I had to use this trusty steed. Yeah, you play some dirt bike polo. Okay, that sounds. I guess it fun. technically that would make wait, sense. Wait, wouldn't it? that sounds really fun, actually. So maybe the only weird part about polo is just horses. No, the game that I was thinking of is uh, biathlon. It's like the cross country skiing and and shooting. Oh, yeah. oh is that the one yeah, where they yeah, yeah they go around with like? Is it a bow or is it a gun? I uh, that one seems the way that seems way less of a game to me and more of just a competition. Just, it's just you so know, it's like strange. Like, like, <laughs> yeah, how but, how did that start? You know what would make shooting a lot sweeter? Skiing. But I do <laughs> love <laughs> Ken. Ken is back there, like yep. yeah, yeah, I yeah. Get behind love that. skiing. Are people still stoked on the Olympics as they used to be? Remember that oh, shit used to be so cool, like when Michael Phelps was winning. No, mm. not at all, dude. The the last Olympics had the lowest really view, viewing of like how much. When was it? 
Damn, I can't believe I missed the Olympics. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, the Olympics kind of lost their uh, lost their sauce, and so did X Games. Also, like I think just like people aren't like as proud to of their country. at least country, at least in maybe right now in America, I'd say like Very true. they don't really ca- like. I think back in the day, you were like more like oh, we're stronger, we're faster. Like our people beat them in whatever you know. Whereas like. Now I think so many people are like, I don't care. Yeah. Like, who cares if you're, you know? Mm-hmm. And obviously there's a large amount of people that, that do still care, but maybe that's a reason what why. We feel. What, how much is viewership down, Kenny? Five years prior, it was $3.2 billion globally, and then in 2021, it was $3 billion. Still a, a ton yeah, of people. Still a lot. Dude, Mr. Down Beast, people, Mr. Beast does a billion views a month. What the frig <laughs> is going on over there? <laughs> so, <laughs> freaking three months he's doing the in the Olympics, Olympics? Yeah. in the whole world, oh, well, every man. single video he makes gets double, if not triple, the amount of a Super Bowl. <laughs> That's yeah. crazy. When a lot of people think of Mr. Beast, they also think of Squid Games because he redid that. I don't know if you guys have caught that they they redid Squid <laughs> Games as a game show now on Netflix. And um, smart. So obviously, you don't actually die if you get right. out. But they have like little packets that like blow up. So, you know, they play red light, green light for starters. It wipes out half the people. And that's like the start. Like everyone, psh, 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 the, the packets are going off. They pretend fall over. I'm like, this is corny. <laughs> and then as it goes on, you know, they actually have to stay in the same exact thing with all those bunks. Anyway, for like two weeks, they have to they stay wow. and it dwindles. And there's a bunch of games that test their, what do you their loyalty. They're up 4.8. Five six million dollars. Oh, so holy that's shit! That's the twister. Is that they actually made that prize money as big as the original game, and so then they put them all in there, and people were forming cliques and alliances, and they were doing different tests where okay, uh, whoever answers the phone, like no one knows what the, you know stuff like that. You I have to eliminate someone. All kinds of stuff, and so they get towards the end, and it genuinely feels like when they play the marble game, they they bamboozle them, pick a partner. You know, pick a partner you love. So, like, the one guy picks his mom. They have to play marbles against each other. It genuinely feels like they're going to, like, die. Wow. Like it's very they emotional. They made it intense. They made it very intense. And well, so, the nice thing if it's your though. mom, at least you, you know, you're like, okay, well, it's going to the fam. Yeah, like, yeah I agree. So but it. it just seemed almost real. And that's what they were. people are going on TikTok explaining. They're like, it felt real. It felt like we were, like... It was the end if, if we got out. So it's it was just, better than Mr. Beast's per se. Yes, yes, but Mr. Beast happened say, in a matter of, you know, 20 minutes. And this was a, it's like a six season, six okay. show, one season. Uh, oh, wow. I was going to say, leave it to Mr. Beast though to get it out. Like film, right come away. up with the whole idea, do the whole thing all before the hype was even gone. Like they now yeah. did this like a year and a half later. Yeah. That's just amazing. insane. I just can't believe they're actually giving away $4.56 million to one person. That is a lot of dough. I was just thinking about the all the all the game shows that give away money, like Deal or No Deal. Who wants to be a millionaire? Those but they e- rarely ever get to a million, if you think about that. But you're right; they do that like every week. Then I was thinking, True. like I'm watching this random The Great British Baking Show. So they're there also for two weeks. It's obviously a little less intense, but they're there. They're just doing all this, all baking, all this kind of stuff. There's like 15 people, and it goes down to one person. It seems like it takes forever. They win 10 grand. Ten grand. Damn, you know? Mike, did you shut the TV off? When you found Mike that shits out? ten grand. <laughs> no, I didn't shut it off. I watched it. I just felt bad that the winner who put in so much work and had to bake like thirty different things over the course of two weeks only got ten grand. Yeah. Well, I think that is a little weak. But I, 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 the only thing that really confused me was why four point three million dollars. Like, who picked that number? Four point uh, five six for what? Four point five six. Sorry, for Squid Game. That's how many was, people are in Squid yeah. Game. Four hundred fifty six. Oh. oh, that makes sense. Yeah. So, as I mentioned earlier, I'm on this shitty diet, and you don't know how much you miss food until you can't eat it. Mm. Dude, I swear, Instagram knows. <laughs> and I was serving you, like, mukbang. Yeah, and, like, that I can't <laughs> eat. Like, whatever. And yeah. so, it, like, serves me a bunch of stuff. So, I've been watching a bunch of, like, Gordon Ramsay videos lately. Dude, I, so entertaining. Extremely underrated. I, except for not. I mean, he's, like, you go anywhere, and he's got restaurants everywhere. And yeah. Probably overrated. Wait, he, yeah, actually, I was gonna say he's like, it, but <laughs> anyway, no, no, he's properly rated, dude. <laughs> I mean, he's pretty entertaining. Do you think it it would help if like you watched a video of someone eating something like super delicious that you want to eat, and while you're eating, and then you almost just imagine you're eating that? <laughs> yeah, I, I would imagine. Do you think that would help? Probably. Or do you think it'd make it worse? So have you found yourself like um, buying more expensive steaks? That would be like my way of doing it. I just keep steaks getting good. better steaks. Yeah. Steaks good, yeah, but like I, I mean, yeah, getting nice steak. 
Uh, it's funny because like you go to a, a nice restaurant, it'd be like a hundred bucks for that steak or seventy bucks. But yeah, you when you're doing it yourself, it's only like twenty bucks. You're like this is a great deal. Can you put like seasoning on them and no. stuff like that? Oh, oh, that's oh, that's oh. Like, oh, that sucks. Yeah, you oh. just I just use salt. Yeah, so you can't put any lorries on it. No, I mean nothing. I'm that's to, salt. I'm supposed to. Yeah, yeah that's well, yeah. But it's got garlic salt. in it. I yeah. can't have yeah. garlic. Um, oh, yeah, so I have to avoid like any seasoning that has garlic and a bunch of other things so no i mean yeah you can buy the best steak in the world but you can't season it with anything yeah. but butter yeah yeah, yeah yeah i make it in butter that's where okay. i get nervous actually like you're right you could spend 25 bucks on steak at the store and it's it's a fourth of the price it would be at a restaurant but i get nervous because i'm like all right i got this 25 dollar steak you gotta do it right I don't know how to cook this thing perfectly. Not yeah, even you, close to perfectly. You might come out of this with like a good life skill. You might be like yeah. a really good grill master. Well, he's been air frying it. Uh, Maybe yeah, that's I'd, why it ain't fucking good because you're well, cooking on the pans here over the oven. No, no, no. I, I, I sear it. Air frying. I sear it or I air fry it. It depends how much time I have. Yeah. Air I mean, frying is so easy. Obviously air fryers are such a hack. If you don't have an air are, fryer, buy an are. air fryer. They're, yeah, they're like 30 bucks yeah, too. Yeah, cheap and you can literally cook anything in them. Remember obviously when, when it's a, like date night, maybe you're like wanting the steak to be really good. You p- cook it on the pizzazz. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Dude, pizzazz steak is next level. Yeah, that was good. We were just talking on that trip about the igloo. Because one of the girls was from like New Hampshire and then moved to California. And she's like, oh, I remember we used to big, make snow forts. And I was like, we built a snow fort. And we were talking about that. We got to do that again. Yeah. I'm down. Uh, how do we I know you it? guys aren't, but yeah. I'm down. That was a great video. We, I we won up it by making the ceiling taller. We, we won up sure. it by staying there a week. Oh, dude. No oh, way. Man. I'm good. <laughs> I will just take 45 minutes to think of a more viral idea and rather do that dude it did pretty right. good yeah, yeah but really it sucked it like, didn't I, you it guys didn't were the ones who liked fun. it I've done, it was fun yeah i've done way that. worse things i was just like, really so much worse. really uncomfortable like well, yeah not even not, not even comfortable no i was just like mentally uncomfortable for 24 hours it's got 2.5 million views and it was two wow. years ago i was just worried about dying the entire time that was and your issue. That was your problem. Ken drove a sure. razor on top of that thing. Yeah. It didn't break. It was until strong. it did. It was stronger than we than we, we thought. thought. Yeah. We maybe shouldn't have built it on the ice. That fact was kind of overlooked. That we built it on the ice and then packed a ton of weight into one area. The whole ice yeah. shelf was like sinking. Yeah. To the bottom. Yeah. That could have been bad. That could have been bad. But I guess wasn't. I wasn't too worried about that. It was funny. All the things we've done are. Some of our family was like, what are you guys doing? This is ridiculous. I'm like, it's a snow fort. Every kid yeah. ever has done this. And oh, the funniest some... part is when I when I convinced you guys that we didn't get, get food. Yeah. And then your mom brought out food because she thought that I was being like. My mom? Un- well, and then, yeah. also, and then yeah. I thought you guys were being even like, I didn't think you were psychos for that. I was like, okay, you're making it interesting. But then when they brought out food and you said, no, they can't have it. Don't let them have it. I was like, what is this guy's problem, dude? <laughs> I think <laughs> definitely part of it was the fact that we'd spent the previous 12 hours working our ass off digging it, and then we didn't get to eat. Well, but we were just trying to make that video, video like interesting. More I get that. And, and yeah. we did have plans, you know, because then we took out the, uh, the, the and meal like, replacements, yeah. and we had those MREs, and we're oh. like, this is all we got. We got and like 10 MREs, all. and Ken just was like, <laughs> throwing a fit and then i cooked them all at once <laughs> i cooked them all at once and we were like what the we're fuck so mad and then uh and then we surprised you guys like oh just kidding look at all this great we got steaks we got pizza we got freaking cookies we got like beer. i said we got all it this great sense. stuff it's it gonna was be so great fun. Yeah. it was great but when we identified the situation as you would have liked us to as there was no food allowed we hadn't eaten in 12 hours yeah. and our only meal was mres that ben that cooked and so made all it all that was so we like, funny dude what? he was just sitting this like a <laughs> go so watch mad. that video after this it's like <laughs> spending so t- just mad. just look up sea boys tv igloo and it'll pop mm. up but i think it's called like spending 24 hours in an igloo with a guy who hates me <laughs> a guy who hates me and ken was so funny in that video i so funny i i wish we could god ken you were so i was one good step on away from leaving at i that know point. you were but didn't want to have a pink car yeah <laughs> God, that was funny. And we you did no phones. We did no phones. The no that phones was, was nice, and dude. Ben was I on his detoxed. Phone. Yeah, and you were on your phone. I wasn't. Time. I just had my phone for something. You, I, I you wasn't. Greta were it. texting. I wasn't. Te- Everyone I wasn't. also had their phones in the skid steer of the truck, and you had your phone on you. I had it for filming something, and then you thought that that was breaking the rules, which I mean, it was fine. You and then the camera. You, and then you wrapped my, wrapped my car because of it, and I rode around with it for a month with 
my he paid his dues. Pop he it paid up. his dues, and it looked good. But too. I was fine with it. I was fine. even though I didn't really break the rules that I made. I still rolled with it because it made great content. Wrapping my car. Well, I mean, either way, it was already wrapped. It really wasn't your decision for the for the wrap, but it was yeah. your decision to keep rolling around in it. <laughs> that was so brutal. The eyelashes and shit. Because <laughs> yeah. so you know, like in a car like that, people probably are like, "Wow, this guy thinks this looks good." <laughs> that was so like, bad. That this was is great. Um, incredible how well that cheetah print goes with Dude, pink. Uh, did we do that in a hand. day, Ken? Me, yeah, you, and yeah. Luke. Uh, yeah, one one day. That was so that's, so brutal. God, it's funny that car probably got more a lot of stuff. Do you think that's the loudest car, like the the one with the most attention? Mm, I'd say that well, it's probably the SEMA truck still know. gets the most attention. Evans El Camino is pretty out there. <laughs> uh, it's nothing gets more attention than the SEMA truck, which is for sale right now. It's on CarsAndBids.com. The auction is yeah, going to be, be over, over by the time this goes out, but right now the highest bid is sixty one thousand right now. So someone might get a forty thousand dollar truck, hundred forty. Uh, sorry, hundred forty thousand dollar build, which obviously you're not going to get that out of it. I bet you like the last like five hours or should be a little bit. Like of action. I think there's gonna be some action because there's been some repeat bidders, mm -hmm. so that they clearly want it. And obviously, you're not just gonna go out like right now when there's still a day left and just like throw like eighty yeah. at it or yeah. something. Yeah, I think anybody that gets that thing for eighty or under, it's, it's a steal. It's a great, steal, great yeah. deal. It's a F three fifty diesel with twenty one thousand miles. That alone is worth. Yeah, you could take all the shit off, yeah. and it's worth more than that. Exactly. Um, which also, you know, it's a unique buyer, but I think it'll go down south, maybe in like one of the Carolinas or Florida, because there's a lot of people that where you can actually drive around it. in trucks like that. They don't get 100%. hassled. Like, there's a culture for it. I'm gonna miss that thing, but it's just a bummer because you know we just don't get to drive it ever. Yeah, did you We're drive it getting at all the summer? Over. I drove it some, yeah. I mean, I drove. I probably drove it the most out of anyone. I'd honestly, say so. Total in total time, but even this summer. Um, I like driving it. It's fun, but you know, it's just, it's a bummer that we got to go. It's right now it's sitting in storage, just waiting for its new owner. We got our content out of it though. Besides it, fun. Being it was so fun owning. I think even just having it, it was so, it's just so ridiculous and memorable. Like you have it in the background, even if you're not even, it's not even the subject, but you roll up to wherever you're going and everyone hops out of it and you're filming. Like it just, it just adds to this ridiculousness that we are living it was an iconic rig for sure dude honestly any truck especially with red rims is iconic mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, no one go that far <laughs> i'd say ben's Some raptor way. is iconic honestly yeah. with all After the, the jump, shit that's dude, happened it, to it. it has deserved it man. yeah it is it freaking worked hard like it was it at a disadvantage hard. you know like it was kind of the ugly duckling <laughs> but then like it just it had to earn it every had to little earn bit stripes. of respect that it has from jumping to evan crashing a cart into the front and then Evan throwing a tow hook through the <laughs> back and Ben's first Raptor's like man I should have really put on more no, Ben's no, first Raptor's first glad it got away so happy <laughs> yeah. that it's down the road dude you done anything to try and get that that white one fixed yet I, I don't think it's no I, I, I have that thing out so quick yeah. you know what's funny is so I have a uh, <laughs> I have a hole in the, yeah. in the back of the bed and then the rear tail light is cracked. Front the bumper. paint on the yeah, front bumper. Yeah. Oh, the, the paint on the front, front bumper. Bumpers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a couple different things just that have gotten messed up on it. And Ken actually went out and just got me a quote to get it fixed. Mm. I didn't even do it, and Ken did. That's how tight Ken is with all these auto shops around here. <laughs> he's in there three days a <laughs> week. And he's like, well, I'm going to be here for four hours. You know? out. How, much well. was it, how much was it to fix? I think it was like six Five Ooh. five grand. Damn. It was the whole. Ba it was it was yeah. uh, the tail lights like a thousand bucks. Of course. And then the uh, they have to replace the entire bedside because there's like the whole red right in the tough, back little man. corner of it. Yeah. I don't know. So I was just like, take the money. Yeah, I mean, I was just like whatever. Well, you'd have to uh, do an insurance claim it. to take the money, wouldn't you? Well, I no. guess I'm not. Like I'm saying, like, yeah. No, no, no. no. Like, like I'm gonna just take the money from the company. That's right. You know, either company pays for this, or I'll just take five grand. But it's like there's like girl math and boy math. I think it's all stupid, but it is a way to explain it. You know, girl math. Like if I if I don't get a coffee on Thursday and Friday, I made ten dollars. Oh yeah, that's the dumbest shit. I agree. I agree. But there's boy math too. And it'd be like, yeah, I'm just not going to fix it. And then I'll have five grand to spend elsewhere. That's not, that does not mean that. <laughs> no, I, I get what you're saying. But. but nothing pisses me off more than when I see like one of these Dave Ramsey guys being like, don't buy a coffee every day. And, and yeah, by the time yeah. you're, you know, 50, you could have put all that money into a Roth IRA and it would have made you this much more money. And that, 
bro. Live, live your life. I, I know. And I, and spend that extra $3 a day and have a coffee that makes you happier and makes you a better person. A lot of people are spending more than they should, though, like the way sure. they live, you know? Like, sure. I don't go and get a coffee from Starbucks or Caribou or whatever. Like, I just oh. make black coffee at home, yeah. you know? You do Not, it to save money, though, or save time? Mostly time. I wouldn't but say like, you don't. I don't, I think, like, I, I think, to me, I... I I still don't want to. Not that I have a ton of money, but I don't want to go and. The last time yeah, I, was, I, I, I tried last to time be I was cautious. with you, you're like, "Can we go to Starbucks?" No, yeah, I know, I mean, not, but, but not I was just saying, day, like, like yeah, I mean, I make coffee every morning. My point though is, like, some people do, like, they get a coffee, then they go out to eat for lunch, and they, you know, like, they live so, mm-hmm. so you gotta put cuts at some spots. But. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I think that whole like save the coffee bullshit is stupid, though. The extremeness of it. Like never get a coffee ever in your entire life is bullshit. Yeah, no, but you like, got it. Yeah, don't go to Starbucks and get a bagel and a biscuit and a large coffee for eighteen dollars every morning if you're yeah, if you can't afford if it. you can't yeah. be smart. Or there's yourself. like different ways. I just still remember way back when getting the paid version of a certain app, and Ryan's like, "Oh I've yeah, been, I've just been rocking with ads. I hate the ads, but whatever." I'm like, "Dude, it's three dollars." Don't get them out and do one day. Get the paid version of the app. That's some boys like, math right there. That's good points. Good point. Stuff like that. You yeah. can then yeah. justify that. Or maybe just no, get I'm them out and do I'm not saying there's in. anything wrong with being cheap, too. I'm, like, extremely cheap when it comes to certain things. Like, I don't I don't want to get my truck fixed for – yeah. I'm not even paying for it. Like, like, the whole company's yeah. paying for it, and I'm like, I don't want to do that. But there's also to a point where it's, like, living your life and enjoying it. No, I agree. Enjoying the fruits of your labor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. One of those deals. Yep. What what's a good boy math example? I, my favorite one is buy a twenty thousand dollars snowmobile and snowmobile for free for the yeah, year. Yeah, that that one makes me laugh. Too. Yeah, yeah. Or or when you buy like all the gear and the snowmobile and and you're in all this money and then you go to the trailhead and they want oh, yeah. fifteen bucks for the trailhead <laughs> to pay for the grooming and everything like yeah. that. And you're like, like jeez, this is bullshit, dude. <laughs> I thought I was paid up. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, changing the subject a little. I just found out how much Birkin bags costed. I just didn't know. I knew expensive purses were How much three, four, five thousand. They range from ten. This is it, just the Google thing. How much is a Birkin bag? Ten thousand five hundred dollars, all the way up to two million. Those are obviously oh, for collectors. Wow. But your average cost is about twenty k. Twenty k for a Birkin bag. I did not know that. So then it's like, okay, girls like their bags, and like guys have plenty of other examples. I'd say like if you're buying American Forces for your F one fifty. You're probably like that's similar vibes to like, it's like owning ten a Birkin grand bag. In, in wheels, yeah, ten like, grand. Yeah, I can like, tell you this much, Mike. Not a single person listening right now knows what a Birkin bag even looks like. I didn't. Well, I, I think mean, I think, I think one I'm would. I'm assuming Sydney was mentioning the Birkin bag. She wanted a well, Birkin bag, so you no, looked it so up, or no? What? But someone in a show bought someone else a Birkin bag, and she's like, "Dang!" Like he bought her a Birkin bag. Like he must. He's trying to schmooze her. This. I'm like, "Well, how much are they?" She's like, "Look it up." Oh, okay. I did. I was like, "Woo!" Cardi B qu- quoted saying, uh, "I'd rather buy a Birkin bag than a real estate property that uh, has tenants because these tenants ain't paying for nine months, and my Birkin bag is going up in value if it's a good investment." Yeah. Interesting. But I mean, I don't know if that's true or not. If that's actually uh, a better investment than a uh, asset that pays you monthly, I can't remember if but, it was a um, <laughs> uh, young thug <laughs> that's or girl logic. future. But I think he said, you can identify my bitches by the APs. Buy them all watches. I, no, watches are a good investment. See, I th- bags Depends. like that Certain are too. watches are. Bags like that are too. They also go up. But I don't Ooh, really think people How do you sell care. a bag? Oh, dude, the mar- secondary market's crazy on them. So I feel like, like crazy. a bag would, would wear easier though like if you actually walk around with the bag but granted maybe Leather, girls aren't you're very delicate yeah, with it yeah like it's not but even like, like this you're hitting watches it. like even like a watch like you, like you wear a watch like you look at my watch right now it's yeah, pretty yeah. scuffed up yeah just from wearing it but i think bags like that and then watches they're kind of in the same space yeah they're luxury yeah. goods I'm I sure know that not. everybody around the world is going, why are you saying bag like that? Bag, <laughs> Every time you bag. 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 Hey, just speaking of young thug, I just saw, so you guys know how he's on trial. Oh, yeah, <laughs> like, he's up dude, for RICO charges. His lawyer or attorney, his, I'm just, I love that they just show a picture of him. And Bro, this is just good, comical. It, young thug stands for, thug stands for truly humble under God. And I can see him just sitting there like, yep, that's what it means. <laughs> what, has he been in jail? 
Yeah, I think he's just been like in jail and then like, like more waiting. trials. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. How long do you think it took for them to come up with that acronym? I I, I assume they probably came up with quite like, a few lawyer hours that yeah. they're going to charge him. Yeah. I, if I had to guess, I bet they came up with ten. They're all probably just as bad <laughs> as that, and then they went with the best option. So Gunna, he was kind of wrapped up in that whole deal, I think, with Young Thug, and then Gunna ratted him out. I want to say. Mm. And so for a while, he was known as kind of a narc. The rat. Yeah, the rat. I think still probably, I'd assume a lot of people still don't fuck with him. I'd imagine, but then he made that one song, Fuck You Mean. Oh, well, and then well, yeah, and then that song took yeah. about yeah. it. It's yeah. a good song. So every time I see that like pop up on, on my like Spotify uh, top chart or whatever, I go, man, you just got to make one, yeah. one hit. And then people are like, you know, he's not that bad. He might be a rat, but. The song kind of <laughs> well, pops. At least the people like it, but I, I bet yeah. you a lot of like the people actual the like scene. street yeah, guys who live by that code, they still don't fuck with them. But yeah, yeah. I agree. Like the pop, like the public, Forget. like their perception. I forgot. I actually at first didn't really want to listen to it. Like I was like, man, didn't not, feel right. Yeah, it was just kind of like feels weird listening to this thing. But it's a good song, and then I just kind of got over it. Everywhere I look, you know, as far as like a Snapchat audio or a Instagram audio, it's That's like, the top I don't know what song to put. Just put Fuck You Dude, Mean. There's so many. I feel like artists are, well, actually, I know for a fact because they've said it, but they just make songs for like making clips now, you know, mm-hmm. like you need like that 30 second chorus and the whole rest of the song can be trash. And that song will just, which isn't so bad because usually, usually the songs are bangers. Yeah, no, but, I, but isn't it interesting though, like how much the landscape has changed for like, how to make a banger song now mm-hmm. versus let's say 10, 20 years ago. I guess that goes two ways though. Cause a lot of times when I'm listening to music and then I hear like the opening, opening riff of it and it matches a TikTok song or an Instagram song kind of turns you off. And I might listen to the opening riff of like the 15 seconds that you're going to hear. And then after that, I just change it. Cause I'm like, yeah, songs. Sorry. Yeah. That's a good point. Song. Yeah, dude, honestly, that's what I'm songs. saying. Other than that, <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, I love listening to the songs, <laughs> especially w- in the car. Yeah, I wonder if you could like invest in a song and then get paid from it. <laughs> yeah, how's that going, right? <laughs> that guy emailed, funny enough, Caswell Customs about that. I don't know why or how he got his email mixed up with ours, some weird thing, but he DM'd me and was like, loved that you talked about that in the podcast. <laughs> Who? The owner the of Royalty whatever well, i'm sure he's changed he's probably yeah he's, hey, like, he's like got a, a free bunch plug. Yeah. yeah true i don't know i haven't checked on that how to see how that one's doing yet well before we go i have a video for us let's put it this way fellas some days you are the porsche some days you're the biker <laughs> oh, oh fuck i don't want to be either of them <laughs> oh <laughs> my gosh no <laughs> like how you could tell the guy was pissed immediately at himself for what he just done because he was like i can't believe i did that but pulls yeah. the door open hits another, <laughs> it's dude, another that's one. bad i no. love the cash in the porch is blacklisted that is what we call a double whammy <laughs> that's <laughs> Maybe bad not, I don't know. Yeah, that's I, a double whammy bro every time that i don't think you can do that in minnesota is lane split, lane split. on a motorcycle but every time, every time that we're somewhere that you can, I'm always amazed at how people do that, how yeah. fearlessly yeah. they do that. Especially when they post a video of it, of them lane splitting, especially some of them are really aggressive. And then 90% of the comments are, yeah, if I see you doing that, my door is swinging open as soon as I see you. I mean, it's like not. All the you're not going to do no that. There's no way. Because it'll fuck up your car, yeah. Yeah. dumbass. True. But even if one of those people were not talking... They were talking real games. <laughs> or like when you're, you see like the videos where the motorcycle is like doing his thing and then someone starts moving. Over, he's like, what? What are you doing? Starts yeah, getting all mad. I'm like, always... bro, you're asking for it. Like, you think you're just going to do that forever and Riding nothing bad's going to happen? Like yeah. just going past at like 40 when people are like, that's, that's crazy, man. Yeah. People are fearless. It's a good Taylor Swift album. Mm, My buddy yep. Ken loves Taylor Swift. Yeah. Hey. Everyone's coming around to her eventually. Yeah, Ken. Uh, <laughs> name a. I think they have been coming around this year, Ken. Name name a Taylor Swift album. Uh, nineteen eighty nine. Nice. Red. Nice. nice. Evermore. Okay. Yep. Holy wow. shit. Okay. I don't even. I'm impressed already. 
Fearless. Damn. Nice, guys. Nice. All right, Swifty. All right. Yeah, you Maybe. proved me wrong there. Honestly, you proved me I wrong. I legit knew none of those. I would have not been able to say any of them. That, that was pretty good, I, Ken. I'm, I'm dry past no, that. No, honestly, yeah. honestly. You, but the ladies aren't, buddy. You earned it on that one. Yeah. <laughs> nice, dude. Okay. Uh, I think that's a wrap on that. Cheers, guys. Yeah. That sounds good. Cheers. Thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you guys next week. Peace. Peace.